Hey y'all, this is Octavius the Great coming to you on this cold Friday with a new video. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. My day is going well so far. Huh. So I'm doing a couple of videos today just to, you know, I haven't done it in a while. So here we go. Off the Jasmine brand on IG. Snoop and Dr. Dre seemingly mocked Janet Jackson 2004 Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction ahead of their halftime performance. I sound so country. There won't be any wardrobe malfunctions. I had to talk them out of pulling out of pulling their penises out. Hmm. All right. Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre joke about the most controversial halftime performance in Super Bowl history. Legendary rap duo, duo Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre held a press conference for their upcoming Super Bowl performance. Queen of Hip Hop Soul Mary J. Blige, who joined them on joining them on stage, were also in attendance. The three music veterans talked about everything from their outstanding careers, Sunday's game, and halftime performances of yesterday. When Dr. Dre told a reporter that he wouldn't give away any surprises, Snoop Dogg interjected, there won't be any wardrobe malfunctions. Dre caught on that onto the reference and jokingly added, I had to talk Snoop and Eminem out of pulling their penises out. Snoop's joke was a likely reference to Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction during her 2004 Super Bowl set. It's been nearly 20 years since the incident, but the world hasn't forgotten about the moment a young Justin Timberlake exposed Janet's nipple on national television. The unforgettable expose was recently covered in her new Lifetime documentary, Janet. Janet. The full story is on Jasmine Brand. Now, this is what I got to say about this, y'all. These two fools need to keep their mouth shut. At the end of the day, how dare y'all sit up here and disrespect an icon, which is Janet Jackson. If it wasn't for her or her family, men of y'all would not have a career right now. And it's so funny to hear Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, two men who are known to mistreat women, especially Dr. Dre, who, who has just recently went through that divorce and paid that lady $100, $100 million. Also, the abuse he did to Michelle A. Also, what he did to D. Barnes by bashing head against the wall. That man is an abuser. He also in the closet. There were many, and, and, and I'm sorry to offend people. I'm not sorry to offend people. That's how many of these D-L-F-A-G-S's be. They sit up here, be with these women, and abuse them because they're not living their life. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg need to be quiet because for real, for real, even though many of us don't believe that accusation that is going on about you SAing somebody, um, you need to slow your roll and shut your mouth because you just got you just bought death row records that you know people are gunning for you now that you are so supposedly a powerful black man, a man who sat here and changed your name for Snoop Line. Now he back to being Snoop Dogg. So this man don't know what he want want to do or who he wants to be. On top of that, he's finna make hot dogs and he said he disgusted about hot dogs, but he gonna go in business and make something that is that disgust disgust him and gonna give it to the people. Yeah, throw these, throw these two old crows in the trash. Throw them in the trash, throw them in the trash. Because for real, for real, Snoop Dogg hasn't done anything musically that hit, hit for real since sexual um, eruption. And Dr. Dre, everybody, I don't know why everybody always waiting on Dr. Dre to drop an album, drop an album, like he just that great. He's great in his, in his production, but he is not that dude be sitting around here waiting for music. He's not Beyonce, he's not Rihanna. Ain't nobody sitting here waiting for another man's music. That means y'all need to step y'all game up. And on top of that, too, quit disrespecting our black women like that. She is an icon. An icon. And she ain't throw no shade and no slander on nobody in her documentary. Y'all got the nerve to sit here and throw shade. And another thing, too, Mary J. Blige, I, uh, I don't, they say that you were there. If you really was there, I wish you would have interjected and said, hey, man, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, that's funny. Don't do that. But you went ahead and sat down, and you were guilty by association. So, y'all, we'll see how their little performance go, because that's the only thing we're really checking out for. Ain't nobody watching that game. We just want to see the halftime performance and see how things go. But for real, for real, I really don't care. This is just a, um, what, a little hip-hop thing that they're just trying to um, pacify us with. But at the end of the day, Snoop and Dre, shut up. Shut up with your lameness. Y'all all grandfather ages, sit up here, key key like two little bitches. I don't respect that, and I been not had respect for them anyway. And don't Snoop Dogg always look like he kind of sick anyway? So he need to worry about how he look and the fact that he's drying out, he's graying. I'm talking about skin-wise. I ain't talking about his hair. And he look like he, he's on the drip, if you catch what I'm saying. But whatever, whatever. So give Janet Jackson her praise and her love and respect the queen when you see her. This has been I Tell You is Great. I'm going to make some more videos, so I hope y'all enjoy. Share, like, and comment. Thank you.